Hi everyone, welcome back to what week two of Math 081. So today we're going to learn about multiplication of fractions and division of fractions. And I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do each of them. This first way I started writing the words and drawing the pictures. Um, just to remind you of what we did in module two, remember how we used the word copies for multiplication. So three times one fourth means three copies of one fourth. And then I drew a picture just like we learned how to do back in module two. So there's one fourth, there's one fourth, and there's one fourth. So what's my answer? Well, I have three shaded out of how many make a whole? Four. And the one thing I do see students do wrong on this one on the test is they do 3 out of 12, but 12 don't make a whole. The denominator of the fraction is always how many make a whole. And you can see here in the picture, 4 make a whole. So I have 3 copies of 1, one four, so that would be 3 fourths. Doing it the traditional method, which many of you probably used, we change them both to fractions. So does everybody agree 3 is really 3 over 1? So it's 3 over 1 times 1 over 4. And that equals 3 times 1, 3. 1 times 4 is 4. And then we check to make sure it's simplified. Nothing goes into both 3 and 4. So that's my answer. And you can see doing it the conceptual way where you see a picture is exactly the same answer as if you do it using the algorithm that you first learned in school. And we ask you to do both ways on the test. We ask you to make pictures and we ask you to use, this is called using the algorithm and this is called using pictures. So I saw this next one was kind of big and I'm like, ah, let's change it to four because who wants to draw seven rectangles? Okay. So when you look at this one, based on what I just did for you, you should be saying that is four copies of three fifths. So four copies of three fifths. So we do four rectangles. Yeah, they're supposed to be the same size. That's not really working, is it? One, two, three, four, five. 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 So I needed four copies, so that's why I drew four rectangles. And then three fifths would be coloring three in from each one. So there's one copy of three fifths. There's two copies of three fifths. Three copies of three fifths. Four copies of three fifths. So using what I showed you up here, you count how many are shaded. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Over how many make a whole? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And sometime your test may ask you to write a fraction. Sometime it may ask you to write a mixed number. So this one, the directions don't say, so let's just practice both ways. So 12 fifths would be called a simplified fraction. But if they wanted you to write a mixed number, we learned in module two, you take the denominator, divide it into the numerator. Five goes into 12 two times. Five times two is 10. Subtract and we get remainder over divisor, which would be two fifths. So you just have to read your questions carefully when you go to take the test. 
do they ask you for a fraction? And this is a simplified fraction because nothing goes into 12 and 5. Or are they asking you for a mixed number? And they're the same thing. It's just two different ways to write the same answer. So if we were doing this problem using our traditional algorithm, we'd put 4 over 1 and we go 4 over 1 times 3 over 5. And the beauty of multiplication, you don't need a common denominator. You just multiply straight across. So it's usually the one students like the best. It's the easiest. 4 times 3 is 12. 1 times 5 is 5. And then we already did the mix, so you could write or two and two fifths. And as you can see again, same answer, different way to do it with pictures, with the algorithm. So go ahead and shut off your camera now, your video, and try the third one on your own. Okay, and then turn it back on and we'll go over it together. Okay, this one is asking for two copies of 5, 6. So since we only need two copies, we just need two rectangles. So we need to cut it into six. So let's cut each one in half first and then make three on the left and three on the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then let's follow those same lines on this one. Four, there we go. So five, six would be five are shaded out of a total six that make a whole. So now we count how many are shaded. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 out of, and remember the denominator is always how many make a whole. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so this one is a little different than the previous two because this one is two even numbers. And remember how we learned whenever the numbers are even, we should start by dividing each by two. So that gives us five thirds. That is called a simplified fraction. It doesn't matter that it's improper. It's still a simplified fraction because now nothing goes into 3 and 5. To change it to a mixed number, if the problem wanted a mixed number, and we don't go back to this one, we go to our, our new simplified one. 3 goes on the outside, 5 on the inside. 3 goes into 5 once. Subtract, and we get 2 over 3. So if they want a simplified fraction, we write that. If they want a mixed number, we write this. And they are the same thing, just two different ways to write the same number. Okay, using the algorithm, 2 over 1 times 5 over 6 gives us 10, 6. But again, we can divide both of them by 2, and we get 5 thirds or 1 and 2 thirds. So same two answers, simplified fraction, mixed number. And remember, every single answer for the rest of your math life should be simplified unless they ask differently. Okay, now they want us to write a rule. So a rule would be, so what did we do each time? We put the whole number over 1. So step 1, write the whole number over 1. Okay. 
Step two, what did we do? We multiplied straight across. And step three, we simplified. So if anything went into both, we simplified. So first we put the whole number over one, then we multiplied straight across, and then simplify your result. So that's pretty nice and easy, right? Okay, let's go ahead and go on to the next page. So we have some more, and I think we're going to adjust some more numbers here. This does not need to be 12. Let's pick, uh, how about 4? Because it works out still the same with 4. Okay, so this would be 4 copies of seven eighths. I don't know why the people making these made such big numbers. It would take forever to draw seven or 12 boxes. So we're just working on the principle, right? So two here, two here, and it says four, or we made it four, so we need four boxes. And then we're going to cut it in half. And then we're going to cut each of the halves in half. That makes four. Then we have to cut each of those in half. So cut that in half, that in half, that in half, and do it all the way down. Each box gets cut in half. Wow, this is hard work, huh? <laughs> but it's fun. Okay, so seven eighths would be, I think I'm going to use my highlighter just to make it faster. So it would be all of them, but the last one, I bet this is going to be smeary, isn't it? Seven eighths, seven eighths, seven eighths. Okay, so we have 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7. That's the same thing as 7 times 4, so there would be 28. So 7 plus 7 is 14. 14 plus 14 is 28 out of how many make a whole? 8. And then we ask ourselves, does that simplify? So we say, hmm, does it simplify? Well, they're both even, so what should we try? Two, right? So then we get 14 over 4. Oh, but look, they're still both even, so guess what that means? Divide by 2 again. So when you divide by 2, so that means we could have picked 4, and you can see 4 goes into both of these. So divide by 2 again, and we get 7 over 2 as the simplified fraction. And then we can come over here and make it a mixed number. So the number in the denominator goes outside. 2 goes into 7 3 times. 3 times 2 is 6. When we subtract, we get 1 over 2. So if they want a mixed number, we would write 3 and a half. Okay, so our multiplication sentence, and it doesn't matter whether the whole number is first or second, it's the same rule. So 7 8 times 4 over 1, 